so in today's video i'm going to be showing you what one dollar can get you if this is a video you want to see then please stick around it's not gonna be long a dollar is equivalent to um 2.8 larry and that is not enough a lot of money so i'm going to the store anyways to get one thing or two but i'm just going to take you guys around and you guys can see what that can get you we'll do groceries maybe another day because i don't plan on going anywhere then we can do like stores like um fast food or food in general so it might take me a bit to compile this video i came at such a wrong time it's so busy but yeah probably i'll go to another store and I'll show you guys. You can get that for a dollar. Chocolate, chocolate. Decided to take this instead. This is salami. We have these mini croissants. I think you can get them for a dollar. These are the sweet sections. Mm -hmm. You know like when you go to the counter to pay for something and then you see a completely different price that was pasted on it and then you get to the counter and they check it, it's a different price and it's just too awkward for you to just go back. That's what just happened to me. <laughs> I couldn't go back and <laughs> drop the item because I saw a very different price. I was just like, oh, it's not the normal one I get, but yeah. If that happens to you let me know but there are days where i'm just like i don't care i'm gonna go back and i'm going to return it oh but yeah mm -hmm. Hello. Hello. hi let's pick you uh, this is one you know. huh? This for one, for one. Every man. Okay. Let me see. I got a train jet. Jet. Go go train. Oh. Okay. The reason my face is shining so much is because I did skincare, and you know how that goes. You know how that goes. So <laughs> I don't know why I'm so happy this night, but. I just wanted to explain this video a little bit because i didn't do a lot of talking so it only feels right and appropriate that i talk at the end just so you get a better picture of you know what i was trying to show you so most of the clips are just me showing you the product it's more of the products that are here and also i'm also showing you some of the clips actually have the tags on them but you might not really understand that and that's why i really don't want to you know do the video but then i've gotten quite a bit of request on it but i don't i didn't think i was just thinking people would not understand it so i explained in the video what a dollar is worth and basically the things you can get with one dollar obviously they're not a lot i don't know what you're expecting you want to come and buy a house here come on come off it <laughs> come off it you want to what buy clothes are you joking no you cannot get clothes for one dollar forget about it you cannot get a pair of shoes for one dollar. Forget about it. You cannot forget about it. I'm I'm being serious. I'm joking, but I'm actually being serious. You know, the Larry is funnily when I also came, I was thinking, oh, things will be cheap. cheap. The clothes are not cheap here. Clothes are not cheap here at all. Mm -mm. They're not cheap. They're not cheap like that. Because even their thrift stores, you can literally compare 
the the prices of thrift and actual brand new things are not far off like if you're buying thrift for 20 larry you're literally buying a top for like 25 to 30 larry there's almost no difference so if you want to buy thrift it's probably because you want varieties or it's just something that you want if you want to focus on thrift that you think it's like let's say nigeria that you buy one top that is fine four thousand naira. this is instagram or uh, thrift now i want to even say okrika because it's okrika instagram thrift four thousand maybe if you go to super it's like two thousand forget about it you will not see that like the difference is not a lot is sorry the difference in nigeria the difference is a lot if you're buying a brand new outfit and you're buying thrift but here maybe i've not gone to a lot but now i'm taking it upon myself to look for more thrift stores i know about two oh i recorded a video but i never posted it it's in all it's in <laughs> That video is probably sitting in all the videos I've accumulated and never made it to this space. But I'll make a proper video just visiting the stores and show you guys, showing you guys the location. Not because I really have anything to purchase, but I will do that video. Also, um, yeah, what things are when it comes to food items, they're not so expensive they're not too expensive if it's foreign imported then it might be but like food items you can get apples for less than one dollar more than at least nine ten for more than one dollar you can get basically food items are the things that fall under the proper one dollar category uh sweets edibles things like that they can't fall up under that category but when you're thinking clothing i didn't put clothing in this video i'm editing it that's why i'm making this video now i didn't put clothing because who are you who do you th who do you think you are that you want to buy clothes one dollar eh? who <laughs> who do you think you are <laughs> no there's nothing like that there's nothing like that here yeah so if you're looking for anything cheap under one dollar it would be pastries food local foods here all them you know even those they're a little over a dollar but let me just put everything on that dollar so yeah that's basically it and for the markets hmm this topic is a bit one way for me because like i, I don't mean supermarkets now i mean like actual markets i don't really go to actual markets often i only go for like one or two things and those two things or one thing i stay months before i have to bring it again and when i go i just go and get that one thing i haven't really gone around for food items no i haven't really done that and the reason is because most places most markets require cash and i never I, I almost never carry cash. And by the time I remember, I've already gone far or I'm probably at a place where I can't use the ATM. So most times, most times, that's the reason. It's not something I've made a conscious effort. And I really don't have a problem with buying the other things probably from the supermarket. I've never really compared if they would be cheaper. But maybe. I don't know. Maybe and now I have to actually make the conscious effort so I can... You know, make a video i don't know i don't know i don't know but yeah i when it comes to like actual market for food for other things i'm yeah they are definitely cheaper but for food i haven't really done that but i'm sure it would be cheaper i mean it's actual markets so yeah thank you for watching this video certain bonnet me is here i'm editing and after this you know Hopefully you guys see this video as soon as possible. And sorry if the clips are all over the place. Forgive your little YouTuber. Anyhow, thank you for watching and I'll see you guys in another video.